8.6, Russell, what is a field? So what's the difference between a field and a parameter? Verse 1 are given is fields can store many values while parameters can only store a single value. That is untrue. Remember, parameters are passed in where the header part is. And we can pass in multiple of those. A field scope is throughout the class, while a parameter scope is limited to the method. This is true because parameters, remember, we were passing them in, right? So they're limited to that method. And a field is used throughout the class, in the class only. We can have only one field per class and we can have as many parameters as we want. This is untrue. The first part is untrue. We can have as many fields as we want also. Field syntax differs because they can be declared with the private keyword. This is true. So when we pass in stuff in like the headers, we can't tell they're private, um, anything like that, or public, but with fields we can. This next one, field taking up more memory, you don't have to worry about that. Fields are constants and can only be set once, while parameters change on each call. Fields are, they don't have to be constants, um, well they can't, they, they are constant, right? But they, they can be redeclared later in the method that you're using. A field is a variable that exists inside of an object, while a parameter is a variable inside a method whose value is passed in from outside, and this is true. So a field is a variable that exists in our object, right? We know that that's set there. And this last part is a little bit tricky, the wording, but a parameter is a variable, right? So the variable is in our header, and it's inside a method, and it's passed from the outside. So we're bringing it into this. Lastly. Um, it's saying that parameters must be primitive types, while fields can be objects. Um, this isn't true. Parameters for our methods, we can pass in objects as well. They don't have to just be primitive. So that is our 8.6, the right ones we select, and that is all.